Welcome back to the channel. This video will cover the reasons why you're dying so much. Now there will be reasons, plural, there won't be one single reason. If there's one single reason and you keep dying for that reason, <laughs> you need to sort yourself out. Um, now there'll be multiple reasons. Like, the first thing that I'm thinking is when you level up your attribute points and my videos, other people's videos, they say when you're leveling up put points into physique for a long time maybe forever until you absolutely need to stop doing it and put a couple into spirit because you can't equip a ring or some other item so if you don't put them into physique if you put them into say cunning your offensive ability goes up but your defensive ability doesn't the only way to get your defensive ability up via attributes is with physique now let's go and fight a bunch of people who are difficult up here and when I'm fighting these zombies what you'll see is when they when they hit me there's a, a flash that shows they've hit and if they don't hit me uh, well it will be pretty obvious they haven't hit me because they'll just swing and nothing will happen but quite a few times they're going to get critical yeah they're going to get critical hits in like that and I'm going to die. So what you can do is you can go back and have a look at your defensive ability. And it will say the last thing that hit you was a rotting soldier. Chance to be hit 98.5. That's high. So like, you know, he's pretty much going to hit you every time. Chance to be crit 8.5%. Golden rule. If you had a fight with something, particularly some trash garbage like those zombies and they've, they've got any kind of chance to critically hit you, they've got an 8.5% chance. That is 8.5% too high. You don't want that. You want all your attribute points in physique for as long as you can bear to do it. I mean, it's boring, but that's what you need to do. Otherwise, you'll get critically hit. Getting critically hit will kill you. There you go. That's that one. Here's another reason you're going to get killed. Going somewhere you shouldn't have gone. Now, sometimes the game will tell you this. Sometimes it will put a little warning up. There we go. With well, this one, a presence far more powerful than you dwells within this place. But, you know, you're going to ignore that because you're really great and awesome. Look at that guy down there. You know, he's crying out for a good whooping, isn't he? So you go down here and you think, well, I'll hit him. And if he's too difficult, I'll run away. So you hit him and you die because he's put that on you. There you go, look. So that's another reason. If you go somewhere where you're not supposed to go and try and fight some ridiculous boss, you're just going to get killed. And I know, I know, it's an extreme example and this character's only level 10, but it's possible to get there at level 10. You could find that cave at level 10. I could find that cave at level one if I wanted to. Um, so yeah, so you can go somewhere you're not supposed to go. How are you going to learn this? By playing the game. This is why you don't play hardcore on your first character. <laughs> Somebody should. Somebody should play hardcore on their first character. Complete the whole lot. All the Celestials, everything. Put a video up and go, look John, you don't know what you're talking about. It's easy. Anyone can do it. Yeah, no they can't. Here's a good one for you. Go and stand on some area where the ground deals damage. There you go, look. And you die before the monsters even get anywhere near you. That's a good one. That'll catch you out. You see your health whizzing away and you'll think, why is this happening to me? There's plenty of places where this can happen. I'll show you another one. Once again. If you stand on this glowing ether stuff, look how quickly my health's going down. And you could be thinking, what? Nothing's hit me. Why am I dying? Oh, I'm dead. So yeah. Watch where you're standing. And if your health seems to be going down for no reason, well, if you don't want to die, just quit out of the game. If you, if you don't want to die, run away from where you're standing. Okay, I covered why defensive ability needs to be up so you don't get critically hit. Now, how are things hitting you? Well, they're alive. All right, the zombies aren't, but you know, the, 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 it's, it's, the same, it's the same principle. If there's an enemy that is, exists, we'll say, we won't say alive, because that's offensive to zombies, so you can't call them alive or dead, because, you know. So if you've got an enemy in front of you that's hitting you, 
what's the best way to stop it hitting you? I mean, this is an easy, easy question. Well, he's hitting me. Now he's dead. Now he's not hitting me. So obviously, you've got to, you've got to be dealing, and they're not going down so good. Look, you've got to be dealing a lot of damage now. Skills. Just hitting things with the weapon, that's going to hurt them, but that's not going to massively damage them. So what you got to do, first thing you've got to do, is you've got to go and find a better weapon. So we'll go and find a better weapon. Okay, here's an example. So I'm not dealing an awful lot of damage. I mean, I'm, like, I should be one-shotting these idiots. So what I need to do is go and find a better weapon. There's a better weapon there, look. So I'll equip that, and then all of a sudden... It's not noticeably better. Right? So you're thinking, well, I've got a better weapon and I'm still not dealing damage. I'm still taking damage. Yeah, maybe you should invest in some skills. Let's do something... Here we go. It's a basic way to cheat. That whole thing about weapons, forget I said that. You don't need a weapon. You just need the presence of your standing there and look at that lot go. Look. Right, so one way not to die is to kill everything by just standing by them. Welcome to Night's Chill. It's just a lovely skill. Look at that, look. They're dead before they even come out of the ground. You can walk around pretending you're... Well, I don't know. If you get something that does cold damage, such as Almond's Axe. Where is it? I've equipped it. Wonderful. Let's put the shield back up. Got anything that boosts cold damage? No, but that does. So you still don't have to hit things, but it's an option. Look at them, look. Come on, boys, gather round. Let's see how it does against bosses. Yeah, just as good that I'm not even hitting him and he's there you go. Right, so if you're dying because you're not hitting things, or that or you know they're getting close and they're hitting you, kill them before they get a chance. I mean they're not even managing to hit me. So it's a bit of a long drawn out tip, but if you invest in skills that deal damage, that kill things. You won't take damage, or you will take a heck of a lot less damage than you were taking. See, look, they're trying. Oh, we got a hit in. But most of them are dying. So that's that one. If you're not killing things, they'll be dealing damage to you. I mean, that should be obvious, but sometimes it's not. So get a skill. Get two skills. But at least get one skill and pump a whole load of points into it. As I've done here. I've maxed that out. Here's a good one. I don't even want to tell you how many times I've done this. You get a skill. That's a really good skill. But it's a toggle skill. And you forget to toggle it on. Now, you might think, well that's stupid, but... And this particularly happens when you die a lot. When you die... Right, my skill's toggled on. Okay? Now I'm going to have to go somewhere where there's harder hitting enemies. because it's such a good skill. Now what will happen is, I'll put a rift down, because I've been dying a lot, and I'll go and fight these guys, and they'll kill me, or not. See, it's a really good skill. Even though I'm taking damage, these idiots are dying, but there's a boss here, and he's killed me, right? So, oh right, okay. Here's a tip, <laughs> when, you set a, <laughs> when you set a character up to demonstrate this stuff, <laughs> oh yeah when you <laughs> I didn't do this on purpose anyone who thinks I did this <laughs> oh Christ where if you set a character up to demonstrate stuff like dying don't set a hardcore character up <laughs> he didn't know <laughs> I gotta do it all again now oh for god's sake Okay, I've got this really good skill. <coughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> God. Um, <laughs> oh, sorry about this. Right. That boss won't be there now. Hopefully Moneybags Martin will be there because he hits harder. Right, I've got this skill on. I put a rift down because I've continually been dying in this area. Because I'm playing like a complete clown. There you go. Oh, there he is. M Martin, hi, how you doing, mate? Right, look, you're going to... Right. So you die. Now, if you've been getting killed over and over and over by this guy, what will happen is, you'll instead of rage quitting, you'll go, right, I'll flipping have you this time, mate. And you'll go back there. But look at, look at the mistake I've made. Right, can anybody see it? Hands up. That's a toggle skill. When you die, your toggle skills get switched off, okay? So going back and thinking, yeah, I can go and avenge myself. Well, no, you can't because you, <laughs> you can see how this is going to end. Right, Moneybags Martin, you killed me once, you'll never kill me again. I'm not even going to reclaim my XP, yeah, I am. So you, and then you think, well, hang on, why is he, what, why is it not, oh, what the, uh, oh, look, it wasn't toggled on. Would it have made a difference? Well, yeah, of course it would. Let's toggle it on. Okay, so you can keep... This is this is what happens, you see. You get caught up in it, and you forget to turn your thing back on. I'm going to pick that up. I'm going to equip that. I can't even equip it. Right, so let's see if I'm as good as I thought I was. Probably not. Come on, Martin, come over here. Yeah, you have some of that, mate. Right. I'm not going to beat him. I mean, look at him, look. But, you know, I did a bit better that time. It's a bit of an extreme example, but I lasted longer. So if you if you die and you've got toggle skills, make sure you put them back on again before you go back into the fight. And, you know, I mean, some of this is a bit stupid, and people watching will be going, well, no one's ever going to do that. Trust me, you will. Spectral binding is awesome. See, they hit you, and they get, like, it's not retaliation damage. It's, um, it's just damage. But it happens to things that hit you, so when they hit you, <laughs> they get fried with ether. Come on, look, he's, he's so bad he can't even hit me. Die, zombie. Die, insect. Yeah, look. So that's that one. So if you die, make sure you turn your toggle skills back on. And if you don't die, make sure your toggle skills are on. Okay, it's a good one for you. When you're fighting a bunch of enemies, clear them before you move on. Because see this lot here, right? I could quite easily take these out, but instead of doing that, I'm going to run into this next area. And go, oh no, look, and I'm going to aggro these spiders. And then I'm going to try and get back and fight these guys, but the spiders are doing ranged attack. Oh yeah, see how that worked out. So what you don't do, don't go and fight one group and then like run off and aggro another group and have the whole lot pile onto you at the same time, because you'll just die. Particularly if you made any one of the other mistakes that I've already made. Like, you know, your rubbish defensive ability, your skills are all over the place. And oh look, my resistances are all zero. Hmm, let's talk about that next. Yeah, let's talk about some resistances. In normal difficulty, your resistances will start off at zero percent. Now, you can get gear. He's got a whole bunch of stuff. That's got fire resistance, 17%. 13% cold resistance. It's got cold resistance and poison and acid resistance. That's got fire resistance. So you can get resistances from other places. If you've got um, like soldier skill, elemental resistance and slow resistance on that skill. Bleeding resistance and a, some other reduced whatever durations on that. Devotions, you can you've got to be careful because you know this sort as well as showing yours. It's got stuff like that's got chaos resistance, but other skills that mention resistance are talking about lowering the enemy's resistance. So you know you've got to be careful what you look at on here. But generally, the stuff that's closer to this thing that's got resistances on it. So you've got that, and <coughs> so you equip a bunch of gear. Can I even equip any of this stuff? What do I need for that? Physique. Right, so I can put that on. 
So you put that on and you notice fire resistance has gone up. That's got cold on it. So like cold resistance has gone up. What did I have? Pierce. What have I got? More physique. Yeah, see, so another reason. So that's got pierce resistance on it. What's that? Spirit, 74. Yeah, what you don't, you don't need to put points in spirit. Because if you level up anything, you'll get physique, cunning and spirit points. Now, they're weighted depending on the type of class it is. Now, because Soldier is like a hefty dude who wears heavy armour, he obviously wants, you know, higher physique. So when you level up, you get a load of physique, a little bit of cunning, and even less spirit. Whereas if you were to, say, be um, an arcanist and you put points in, they get a low amount of physique, slightly more cunning, but maximum amount of spirit. So because it's a spirit-based, you know, class, so you should be able to figure that out. So when you <clears throat> when you go and buy this stuff from the shop, I can wear that hat now. I didn't have to put any points in spirit over here because I got them from the mastery. Worth remembering, to put that hat on. So that's given me cold and poison and acid. So I've got you know I've got some points in some of the resist in some of the resistances over here. What does that do? That's Maybe these weapons do it. Oh, that's actually got. That's got 5% physical resistance on it. That's awesome. On a level 5 a level five weapon, having any kind of physical resistance is pretty good. It's because of that... Um, it's because of that earthbound prefix. I'm 99% sure it is. I mean, I'd have thought that's just what's putting the earth ward on there, but I'll check. But that physical resistance is really good. So we get that. Physical resistance isn't even a main one. It doesn't even show up on there. It shows up on, shows up on here. Tab three, physical resistance. Right. So you get your resistances up. Now, by the time you get to the end of normal, you probably want as many of them as high as possible, because when you go into elite, you'll get a minus twenty-five percent penalty. Right. Uh, elite. 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 <clears throat> right, so what you've got here, you've got a minus 25% penalty on these thingies. It's on fire as well, but because that was so high, it's probably 30%. That was whatever it was, 20. But you'll notice that the stuff on here, these resistances, they don't suffer from that penalty. So you've got minus 25% lightning resistance. Anything in Elite that deals lightning damage is probably going to one-shot you. I don't even have to show you this. Just trust me. Make sure when you go into Elite that your resistance is as high as possible. If you can get them all up to 80 all of them then you're laughing that is a bit of a pain to get up and stun doesn't well stun doesn't kill you but it can get you killed because if you're stunned and you're just standing there wobbling around not able to run or do anything or cast any spells you're going to take damage and not be able to do anything about it you can't even pop a potion so yeah get your resistances sorted or you will die this way of dying is to do with not taking cooldowns of your items and skills into consideration we do health potions so i'm going to run in here and start taking damage from these guys and i'll take a health potion and run away and then i'll go back into the fight now the health potions on cooldown so when i start taking damage i'm trying to yeah so I couldn't take another health potion because the cooldown on the health potion was still going. Now the soldier has got a life-saving skill. Men here's will. It's really good. Let's max it out. Now it's passive. It you don't have to uh, start. You don't have to put it on a skill button or anything. Once you put points in it, it's there. Requires a shield or two-handed melee weapon. Activates when health drops below 33%. Gives you a whole bunch of health back and massively increases your health regen. It has a 
15 second skill recharge. Now that doesn't mean it's recharging during the 10 second duration it's up. What it means is it's up for 10 seconds, then it's not, and then it's 15 seconds before it'll activate again. So if we go back to the same guys. First of all, I'll show you it working. They should still be there. So what will happen here, they'll attack me and my health will drop. Once it hits 33, there you go. Now Menhir's will is activated. So I'm going to run away. It's still active. It's still recharging my health. They're going to lose interest and now. Now it's in its cooldown phase. It's recharging, you see. It takes 15 seconds. And then it's gone. Now it will activate again. But what I'll do this time is I'll stay in the fight and then I'll die while it's on cooldown. Right, so it's going to get triggered. It's up. And I'm thinking, look at me, look how tough I am, look at me go. Because I'm losing health, but Menhir's will is recharging it so fast, it's like I'm not taking any damage. But now it's gone into its cooldown state. So while it's in its cooldown state, it wasn't triggering. And it wasn't saving my life. So keep an eye on your skills. While they're on cooldown, you know, run away, hide, rift out. Same for the tonics of mending. Not so much for that, unless you're really dependent on it. And if you're really dependent on that, because your energy's running out really fast, you need to do something about that that doesn't involve spamming energy potions. Ultimately, what, what I hope you've learned from all of this <laughs> is there's, there's numerous ways you can make it easier for the game to kill you. We, we, you know, a quick, a quick summary, not putting points into physique will screw up your defensive ability and get you killed. Having your resistances completely mushed up will get you killed. Um... <clears throat> going into a boss fight when you're not familiar with the boss the whole point of that is you're going to die because the game didn't expect anyone to go and I don't know fight Warden Krieg and beat him the first time right? I mean you, you can do that if you over level but if you rush through the game and you don't pay attention to your gear, your skills advice you're given um, maybe you didn't look for any but if, if you want to try and figure stuff out for yourself you're going to have to be prepared to die a lot that's pretty much it. I don't know how much use this video will be. I think it will probably give you a laugh more than anything else, but there, there are numerous ways to die, and you've got to be aware of them all. And if you, if you invest the time into playing the game a lot and learning a lot about it, you'll, you'll die less and less and less. And that's always a good thing. But hopefully, if you look at some of the stupid things I've done in this video and then don't replicate it, You'll, you'll die less without learning it all yourself. <sighs> it's probably one of the most bizarre videos I've posted. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it for what it was. And the next one will... Well, I, it can't, I can't imagine it will be worse than this one. So the next one will be better. And I'll, I'll see you all in that one. Have a great time.